Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. Hope you survived uh, 2022 and enjoyed our top 10 countdown videos of the last year. Um, we had a lot of fun making those. So today for January 1st, 2023, I thought we would take a look at a newer format that is also based on an old school format. So we'll do a quick tutorial today on chaos draft and internal central. So they call it eternal chaos draft. Uh, it was uh, created by our friends in Chicago at the Lord of the Pits. And they recently got together. This was last year that they got together in 2021. They had a little Christmas holiday draft. And uh, I don't know if they did it this past year, 2022, but uh, it looks like they had a lot of fun getting together, playing some uh, old school turn essential magic, Swiss, Swiss rules I believe they used, uh, with one slight twist. Um, the twist that they were using was that they were building decks around the card Booster Tutor from Unglued. We'll take a look at that in a little bit, but uh, Booster Tutor <clears throat> is a uncommon card. This version was drawn by Christopher Rush for one black, it's an instant, and you open a sealed magic booster pack, you reveal the cards and put one of those cards into your hand, then you remove that card from your deck before beginning a new game. And the flavor text is awesome on this card. It says, real men use Arabian Nights boosters. <laughs> Uh, so if you had yeah, a couple grand <clears throat> or a couple uh, Arabian Nights boosters on hand, you could use those for this format. Um, but they explain the rules in this, in this recap. I'll put the link in the description if you want to read more about the event and see all of the deck lists. Um, it's a lot of fun. They had a lot of, uh, a lot of great ideas brewing the different decks around the Booster Tutor. Um, here it says, what is Eternal Chaos? So Eternal Chaos is the brainchild of our Southside Ambassador. Um, <clears throat> deck construction derives from the traditional 93-94 old school, but with the added twist of Booster Tutor. A joke card originally from Unhinged, now turned format centerpiece. So with no sideboards allowed, players are tasked with opening booster packs which is any, un any unopened pack of magic cards that has the word booster on it to make adjustments to their deck, either between games or during games with the aid of the tutor. Each match resets the booster stockpile, providing an element of unpredictability into each game and washing away major bombs like Karn, the great creator of classic tech like a Gorilla Shaman, finding its way into a modern frame. Through five rounds of almost Swiss, players battled out with booster packs at the ready for some exciting and unpredictable magic. So, um, basically everybody had to bring an old school deck. Um, we're gonna do a quick example here today. I'll use this um, old school deck that we've seen on the channel before, made out of fourth edition cards. Mostly English, but there are some foreign Fourth edition cards like uh, this Serendib Efreet in French. So we need a 60 card deck like so. Put that over here. Um, and then you'll need four copies of Booster Tutor. Uh, I'm using these four from un Unglued here. Uh, they are the Christopher Rush versions. And then you'll need some, some sealed packs of Magic the Gathering. So we had some extra packs from our eBay sales, um, selling kind of bundles of 12 packs or 10 packs, whatever a third of a box is, and we had some extras based on the numbers. So you can use um, whatever you got, really. Like Ikoria, we had some of those. Um, these are Dungeons and Dragons adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, some of these sets are not very good, so the packs you can find for you know, $3 a piece, um, or get them at your local game store. We also had some Commander Legends, Dungeons and Dragons, Battle for Baldur's Gate draft booster packs. These are nice, they have 20 cards in the boosters, so you have a few more cards to choose from when you're drafting 
using Booster Tutor. Uh, and typically what you do, I think is, I think you're allowed like three packs per game. So if you were going to um, play a match of Eternal Chaos Draft, you'd pick like three packs and put those kind of like, that would be kind of your sideboard because you wouldn't be able to bring in any other cards for the match. So that would be like your sideboard. You'd save those. And then if you pull the, pull the Booster Tutor and cast it successfully, you could grab one of your packs and uh, open it up and pick one card out of it and add it to your deck. So I believe that most of the decks were around 60 cards. You, I, you use the same deck construction rules as Swiss or old school. Whatever your favorite format is, you can use that and keep it to 60 cards minimum. So you are allowed to go up to 64 or 65 cards uh, if you need to, to put in extra booster tutors. Um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, this deck will be 64 cards. It'll be our 60 card old school deck plus the four booster tutors. And we'll use three packs of sealed draft booster packs as our sort of uh, booster sideboard. And then after the, after the game one, after, if, you, if you opened one of your packs, you would um, grab another stack, another pack from your stack and add it to your booster sideboard for game two so that you'd have three boosters to choose from. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the number of boosters allowed. It might be more than that, it might be four, it might be eight, but three seems enough because then you can just choose one of those three um, <clears throat> but if you, if you cast all four booster tutors, you might need at least like four packs in your sideboard. So let's just say four packs. Let's say, let's just do that in case we need a fourth pack. Um, Strixhaven is also a good set to use for booster drafting because they have all the mystical archives that reprint the iconic cards like Demonic Tutor and Brainstorm and Swords to Plowshares and Regrowth. So those cards are really good in old school. And so if you picked like a Strixhaven booster pack and then used Booster Tutor, you could get, you know, like a second Demonic Tutor in your deck, something like that. And I think the Booster Tutor rules allow you to add cards like that because they came from a booster if you opened them. Um, and then that way you'd be able to play with like two copies of Demonic Tutor or two copies of Regrowth or something like that. So that's what I think. Um, let me know in the comments if you've played this format before. Um, we've played it a few times up here in our region. It's kind of fun, very random, unpredictable. Sometimes the cards in the packs are not that great. But anyway, you shuffle your deck, you cut it, draw seven cards off the top, and then you'd go to town. So we... Okay, opening hand, we did not get any uh, booster tutors, but this is a pretty good opening hand. This this deck is using Spirit Link on Savannah Lions. It's a Lion Dib Bolt deck. So we're using our Arabian Knights playmat because um, Sarin Dib, Free City of Brass are in Arabian Knights. Also, real men use Arabian boosters. Uh, so we would, we'll take the play. Let's play a Plains. We'll cast a Savannah Lions and pass the turn. They'll draw, we'll draw. Let's play another Plains after we untap and draw. Let's play the Plains here with uh, the Savannah Lions altar on it. That's pretty cool. So we have two Plains, Savannah Lions. Let's go ahead and also, um, let's tap that Plains. Let's add a Spirit Link on Savannah Lions so that we can attack for two and gain two life. I really like that. Um, I've also used Spirit Link on the Serendib so that it, when um, it does the one damage to you on your on your uh, untap upkeep, you gain a life so that basically negates the the damage. Awesome. So now we, we did draw Booster Tutor. Let's play our City of Brass, like so. Um, 
so that we can cast our booster tutor. Uh, there are variants, I believe, or even proxy, that people have proxied the booster tutor in different colors for one blue, one red, one green, or one white. So if you were interested in playing booster tutor in a mono white deck, you could cast this for one white mana instead of the black mana. But we're playing a five color deck, so we do have access to black mana in this deck. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, we played our land. We played the City of Brass. Do we want to do anything else? Uh, we could add a Spirit Link or a Felwar Stone to the Swords, but I think what we really want to do is I think we want to play this Booster Tutor. So we're gonna take a damage. We're gonna crack City of Brass, City of Brass for Black. We're gonna play Booster Tutor and hand of that. We're gonna look into our booster pack pile. We're going to pick one of these packs. Um, Ikoria had some pretty good black cards. Um, Commander Legends. What else? Let's see. We have D&D &D, Battle for Baldur's Gate. Um, why don't we... Let's see here. Oh, this is a tough choice. So we have a... Um, from one of these four packs, we probably know. Let's go ahead with the Ikoria. Let's just draft Ikoria. All right, so you grab your booster pack, you cast Demonic Tutor, or the Booster Tutor, and then you open your booster pack. Booster Tutor goes to the graveyard, and then you look at your booster pack. We've got some commons. We have um, Helica Glider. Um, it's got First Strike. We have Capture Sphere, Enchanted Creature. We have Lava Serpent with Haste, Cycling. For two draws a card. We have Cavern Whisper. It has Mutate and Menace. We have Humble Nature Naturalist. It adds one mana of any color. Spend this mana to cast a creature spell. That's actually pretty good. Um, in this deck. We're not playing forest though, so green's not our strongest color. Spring draw trap, flash, four colorless, deals damage to any target. That's pretty good too. Kind of like that one. Let's, let's keep that as a maybe. We got rumbling rock slide, deals damage to target creature, creature equal to the number of lands you control. Uh, convolute, counters target spell unless its controller plays, pays four. We have Mysterious Egg. Whenever this creature mutates, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Corpse Churn, put top three cards of your library into your graveyard, then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty good. Um, Skull Prophet adds black or green to your mana. It's a human droid, druid. This could be useful. We also have Migration Path. Search your library for up to two basic lands. Put them in the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. That's pretty good. We are playing basic lands in this deck, so that might actually be also pretty good. Uh, General's Enforcer is a human soldier. White, white, black. Um, exile, a creature. We have a rare card. Garuda, Doom of the Depths. It is a four colorless, two black or black or blue legendary creature kraken has companion so your starting deck contains only cards with even converted mana costs and when garuda enters the battlefield each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control and then thornwood falls Enters the battlefield tapped. When Thorbird falls, enters the battlefield. You gain one life and then add blue or green to your mana pool. So that's a pretty good um, mana producing land as well. What do I think? Mysterious Egg was pretty good. I also thought that Migration Path was pretty good. All right, what would you pick? What do you think? Um, <clears throat> you could also do blue, white, or red. 
pretty are the pretty strong colors in this deck. Uh, we won't be able to cast Garuda, so we'll probably I'll skip that. Um, let's do Migration Path. We have the City of Brass, so we'd put that in there. Save those. Let's just go ahead and use. We'll do this. We'll put uh, Booster Tutor in the graveyard. We'll put Migration Path in the sleeve. Now we have a Migration Path. We can also do something else with the rest of the mana in our mana pool. Let's go ahead and let's tap this Plains for white. Let's put another Spirit Link on Savannah Lions. Let's go ahead and tap attack for two, but we'll gain four from the two Spirit Links. And then we'll pass the turn and it comes back to us. So then we'll draw. Uh, we got a Brain Geyser, Geyser Cerebral, which is pretty cool. Let's play a land though. Let's play this mountain. This one has the uh, Lightning Bolt Altar on it. Very cool. Um, let's go ahead. I think we have four. So we want to play Migration Path. We want to play the the uh, Ikoria card that we just we just opened. So we will tap City of Brass for green and take a damage, and then three colorless and cast Migration Path. Search your library for up to two basic lands, put them into Battlefield Tap, then shuffle your library. Uh, so we want islands, obviously. Let's just go get an island, and let's get another island so that we can Uh, there's two islands. We'll put those into play tap, shuffle our bat, shuffle our library here. You get the idea. There we go. So these islands come into play tapped. Migration path goes to the graveyard. We are now out of stuff. We're gonna attack though. Attack for two, gain four, pass the turn, come back to us. We're gonna untap all of our lands. Now we have six lands in play. Draw a card. And we got another booster tutor, awesome. Uh, let's see about, let's cast this Brain Geyser eventually. So we'll move to combat, we'll swing for two. Gain four. Uh, let's go ahead and tap two plus three. We'll play Brain Geyser for three, targeting ourselves. We'll gain, we'll draw one, two, three cards. And let's see, did we play a land this turn? We did not. So let's go ahead and play our land for turn. We'll play a Plains. We'll tap that. We'll play a Savannah Lions. Then we've got Counterspell, Booster Tutor, and Felwar Storm. So we'll pass the turn to our opponent. They'll do some stuff. When they pass it back to us, we will untap and this is our pretty strong mana base now. Now we can uh, draw a card. We can cast a Felwar Stone, save the two blue for the counter spell. We'll tap um, two white here. We'll cast a Felwar Stone, which will produce mana of any color that our opponents can play. We will move to combat. We'll swing with two Savannah Lions. We'll do four damage. We'll gain four life from the two Spirit Links. Um, maybe they'll try to Swords the Savannah Lions. So we'll tap the Mountain with the Bolt on it, and we'll cast, uh, we'll Lightning Bolt them for three, then maybe they get rid of this. Maybe they get rid of the spirit linked Savannah Lions, probably. They'll take three. Um, we can also try to counterspell something if they were Swords of Plowsing, Plowsharing, or Savannah Lions, so we counter that. And then last but not least, uh, if they're playing black, we could tap Felwar Stone for black, cast Booster Tutor, go get another booster pack, and repeat that whole process until the game is over. So that's my quick tutorial on Booster Tutor and the, the Eternal Chaos Draft. If you're interested in the format, I encourage you to go pick up some, some Booster Tutors and play with your friends. They're pretty inexpensive, like 25, 50 cents a piece. 
So you can pick up a, a play set of these for like a dollar or two. Um, put them, just mix them in with your old school decks. Uh, grab some random booster packs off the shelf or on eBay uh, to play with your, your play group. And also add some cards to your collection. Now we have all these um, Ikoria cards that we can use to, to brew other decks with um, or trade with our friends at the, at the card shop. So thanks everyone. I hope you're enjoying the video uh, and, and the new year. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought that was informative. Um, give me some comments below if you have other ideas for this format. And uh, check out the link to the original brewers of this format. I highly recommend them. And uh, thanks again, everyone, for subscribing and following along the adventures of magic this year. Have a great week, everyone.